Hello and welcome to yet another quick Rust map editing tutorial. This tutorial will cover Kill Years Editor and well let's get into it. Uh, here we are we have the editor open and we are presented with four buttons. Uh, exit, oh, I'm not too sure what that does. So I'll click, no I'm not going to click it. The about will bring up some uh, information about the editor I guess. Uh, here it will lo it's locating the bundles file but you will do that when you open it up. I've already done it so all you have to do is point the program at this directory, uh, just Steam, Steam Apps, Common Rust, and that'll get the editor loading. Uh, we have a load map button. Uh, most of you will probably be more interested in this than creating your new map. Uh, simply select the map you wish to load. Uh, click open, and then select load, and it'll begin loading your map. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can create a new map. Uh, here we can select the size. Any size between 1,000 and 6,000 will be accepted. Uh, try not to uh, go outside those bounds, it probably won't work. Uh, if you have a height map already ready, uh, you can import it here and you can set the height of the floor, which um, will either make your height map really tall or really low, um, depending on how you set it. And simply hit create and it will generate the terrain. All right, we've made it into the flat map that we generated. And we're going to have a look at a few of the things inside here. We've got file with a few options such as save and save as and exit and new. We have edit, which has some commands up inside here like undo, redo, control Z and control Y, duplicate, control D, delete, delete, and preferences. Preferences will bring you up with a menu with camera field of view and view distance which can be very handy for prefab placement and gaining an overall view of your scene before having to load it up into a server. Uh, over here on the right we have the terrain paint panel and here we can select from our terrain layers, textures, biome, alpha and topology. Brush type, round or square, brush size and opacity. It's pretty simple just like before Paint it on, paint some different ones on, it's very, very easy, lovely and easy to use. It's going to make such a difference for the inexperienced map makers to just really get right started with everything. Uh, next up is biomes, we are presented with four different biomes to paint and it works in the same manner as the texture painting. Alpha for turning texture layers on and off and it'll give you a nice charcoal-y colour and when you render this into the game this patch of terrain would no longer be visible to the player and this is used for monuments where ground would otherwise not be there like the big pit at launch site and you would simply paint around the big pit on the land layer using the uh, using the alpha option and when you load into the map it will no longer be there the next option is topology and very much in the same way uh, you painted everything else on, you can paint this on. And there we just painted a lovely big patch of field. And you can select from the vast list of topologies that we have inside here from this drop down menu. And when you select a new one, the other one will disappear and you can continue to paint it on. If you wish to erase topology, you simply uncheck the red dot from down here and you can rub it out nice and easily. Pretty straightforward and if you think Oh god, I've made an absolute mess of my topology, whatever will I do? Just for that layer, you can clear that topology layer with a nice button and you can start off fresh. You can get your topologies to how you like it. Be good times. Looks like a bit of crab. Next up is terrain tools. Uh, these are the ones that are probably the most fun to use in terms of brush application. Uh, we have rays, which raises the terrain. And you can increase the amount it raises as you hold the click by increasing the brush intensity. Brush size is pretty straightforward. Once again, you get square and round. Obviously, we have lower, and is the opposite to raise. Once again, straightforward. Flatten. Now, if you control right click, it'll choose a height from where you selected with your right click, and it will paint that height perfectly out. Very nice. You can also dial the slider to paint additional height, or you can enter the value in manually. 
lovely tool that one there you can create some fantastic things using this tool we'll just make it a little bit of an example plateau here for the next brush which is the smooth tool pretty straightforward does what it says it does it smooths out the difference between two heights and you can get some nice little hill things going on really 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 powerful tool so be careful when using it around highly detailed areas because you may ruin the detail that you wish to have kept otherwise next up is the prefab list now most of you are probably going to be going what am i going to do in here well i suggest going to auto spawn decor and you get lots of things to play with simply find the item that you wish to play with click on it drag it out into the area you will then be presented with three lovely arrows and they represent x y and z translation or moving axes uh, you can select from a three different gizmos here which allow you to rotate and scale pretty straightforward and there are hotkeys for these as well which is control w allows you to move it around control e starts with the rotating control r will do scale you can scale the entire object by clicking on the gray box in the middle and moving the mouse upwards or down you can scale each axis individually by selecting it at the cube and dragging out in the fashion you desire i can imagine seeing some very cool things happening with this because this is pretty rad and that covers it for the prefab list and gizmo controls for kill use editor and how to do all the terrain painting uh, thanks very much if you don't mind chuck us in a sub and a like or whatever it is and uh, you guys have fun see you later fam